cousin Stuffy. How about some coffee? So this will be uh, coffee with Earl, Cousin Stuffy. What up, Cousin Stuffy? Uh, first off, happy birthday. And uh, ve being as this is virtual, I can't give you something for your birthday. I thought I might just have a chat. I'll talk to my camera, upload it to the internet, and you could watch it on YouTube like normal. That's how we do things now. And uh, what should we talk about? Um, let's keep it simple. <laughs> let's talk about life, duty, and freedom. Um, seeing as, as it's, uh, you know, birthday, 4th of July, um, and, a, and a day off. So, you know, this is what, how I choose to spend my day off. 360 panoramic coffee spin. Alright. Oh, uh, Cousin Stuffy, I saw you're, uh, you're uh, making a bullet, a snuff bullet. <laughs> that was odd. That was odd, but I like, your, I like your sense of humor and I like your inspiration for getting involved in the tubes. Um, uh, actually, that got me thinking, like my inspiration for being in the tubes, it was... Uh, I bought a camera to go on a vacation, and uh, I went to take a picture, and I realized oh, I'm taking a video. I'm like, hey, I could be one of those folks that uploads videos to YouTube, and then why, but why, what would I do? What would I be filming? And I thought uh, I'd, film, uh, I'd film me thinking, I'd film my thoughts, and what I, what I have to say, and what I'm doing, and, um, and then as time goes on, I have a better idea who I am now, because I have a better, uh, better ability to see whoop, who I was. Oh, coffee's going awry. All right, coffee going awry. Um, all right, let's, so let's talk about our topics. I forgot what they were. <laughs> um, oh, life. Um, all right, check this out. Here's here's an idea that I came up with a while ago. Um, I came up with it actually on another birthday video I did. Um, but here's, the, here's, the, here's this concept that kind of leapt into my mind. Imagine, actually, that life is like a restaurant. Um, and before you enter it, before you enter life, you choose a little bit, you know, like, the, the, like some of the side dishes and some of the main courses. And, uh, you know, some people like... Um, you know, when they haven't been to the restaurant before, life, they're like, oh, you know, I just like, I just kind of like the general, I'd like a sampler plate, maybe the buffet. Um, I'd like just a little bit of everything, see what that's like. And then you go through that and you're like, hey, that's pretty cool, but, you know, maybe now I'd like to come back and have like, just this, the big spicy meal. What's the, uh, <laughs> what's the, uh, the, the spicy challenge. I want to have the spicy challenge life. Um, and so we pick these things out. And if, say, you've gone through a couple times, now you're like, you know, I'd really like some of this. And some of these things are unusual, like the sushi choices of life. Uh, and some of them are hard. And some of them actually wouldn't seem like something that you'd want to have happen in your life. Um, but what it, why, but you'd pick that, you know, because you're like, well, I want to, I want to see how I experience and how I cope with and handle, you know, some big things, some heavy duty stuff. And, uh, but then here's the thing, then you make all your orders and then you go into life and you forget you ordered that stuff. And so you're going through life and all of a sudden, wham, something happens. And... Here's why, here's why this kind of caught in my mind. It's like, when something happens and you think to yourself, um, like, oh no, or, or how am I going to, or whatever. But what if you thought, um, why did I choose this? Like, a random thing might happen and, like, you take responsibility for it. Because, you know, this is happening in my life. 
you think, why did I want this to happen in my life? What did I have to learn from this? And what do I need? What, do I, what tools do I not have already in my toolbox that I need now to cope with this situation? Ah, uh, it's good coffee. I don't know, I just think, I thought that's just an interesting way I think. I think that's an interesting way to think about life. That everything that happens, I, I chose it. To, to, well, not everything, but a lot. I assume that you'd want some randomness uh, in life. Like, you like you might say, oh, and just surprise me with a few things, too, please. Um, oh, what else? Oh, you know, uh, like freedom, duty. How much time we got? Oh, five minutes. Let's go a little bit longer. Um, someone told me that when I was young that, uh, you know, you're only young once and you'll, uh, you'll always look back on these days with, you know, wishing you had seized the moment or, or whatever, and are wishing that the, the summers of, of not working and being, uh, out of school would last forever. And I didn't find that to be the case. I didn't actually believe it when I was a kid, so maybe, maybe I was predisposed. But, uh... I think duty is an honor. You know, like, it's not like the things that you, you know, quote unquote, have to do in life. Um, you know, like when people say, like, you know, such and such, when some, someone says that so and so is irresponsible, I think that's one of the worst insults. And if true, uh, one of the most terrible uh, uh, titles you could carry through life. Like, it seems to me that, like, I'll tell you a cowboy story. <laughs> I've told this one before. I think it's a classic. Um, it's about duty. It's a uh, cattle drive, and uh, there's, like, an untested uh, uh, guy. He's his first, his first cattle drive, and he's, he's, he's working sweep in the back, just eating dust all day and not really given a lot of responsibility because he doesn't know anything, you know? And uh, the trail boss sees uh, a couple cattle head off into a ravine, and he's like, I'm going to give this guy a little responsibility, you know? Like, that should be an easy thing, but he's going to be working on his own and, and whatnot. And also, when cattle get into a ravine and stuff like that, they bury themselves in thickets. Because they don't want to get out. And cowboys don't want to have to get off their horse and get back into a thicket. So, you know, he's going to be interested to see how this guy handles his responsibility for the first time. And, uh, so this cowboy heads off, and he's gone the rest of the day. And the boss is like, did he get lost? Am I gonna have to send somebody to go get him? And right as it gets dark, here, here comes this cowboy. And he's got uh, 10 head of cattle with him, about seven deer, about four antelope, a couple foxes, and a snake. And he's herding them all, he's, he's, he's pushing them into the herd. Cause like uh, he went in there to get the critters out of the uh, out of the ravine, out of the valley, and he came out with the critters. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's like it's it's an honor to get responsibility, and uh, it's uh, it's wonderful to have duty in your life. To, that that uh, I don't know. It's like it's a mark of a man. I think. All right. What was left? Freedom. Yeah, I didn't. I think having these responsibilities and these duties um, really highlights uh, our freedoms as well. Um, so I, I imagine I could talk about that for ad infinium. I could talk about that for a long time, I mean. <laughs> mm. But, you know, this is long enough. This is long enough. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, thanks for having coffee with me. And, uh, yeah, I won't, I, won't be, I won't be packing any bullets <laughs> anytime soon. All right, enjoy your 4th of July. See you in the tubes.